Leia here from LayForSci.com, and in this video, I'll take you through the resonance intermediates when you add a super electrophile to a substituted benzene in the ortho, meta, and para position, and then I'll show you a trick for quickly identifying where your carbocation is going to wind up. In other videos, I work through the detailed mechanism as well as what is considered to be an ortho, meta, and para director. You can find my entire series on electrophilic aromatic substitution along with my EAS cheat sheet by visiting my website layaforsci.com slash EAS. Let's have a quick run through of electrophilic aromatic substitution for a plain benzene ring where we add the super electrophile to a benzene ring. The intermediate structure, also known as the sigma complex, is what we want to focus on. Because in this situation, we added the super electrophile to just benzene without a, another substituent on the ring. But when you have another substituent on the ring, we have a completely different story. But say I wanted to go through this reaction where I have a substituent, a green X that does not represent a halogen, rather any substituent. The question is, would I add the electrophile at the ortho, meta, or para positions? If you're not comfortable with these, classifications, go back and watch the video that explains the ortho meta para monster. In future videos I'll go through why certain substituents direct ortho meta or para, but right now I just want to show you the resonance intermediates for each of these structures. I want you to keep in mind here, X does not represent a halogen, it is simply some atom or functional group sitting on benzene. We'll start by adding the electrophile to the ortho position. This starts out when benzene grabs the super electrophile. When benzene grabs the super electrophile, we break the aromaticity. The intermediate structure has two pi bonds, the electrophile sitting directly near the substituent, and in this case, a positive charge on the carbon where the substituent is located. Remember, when you break the pi bond, one carbon gets the electrophile, the other carbon gets a positive charge. The purple electrons are attracted towards that positive carbon and will resonate over. This gives me the first resonance structure where the blue pi bond remains where it is, the purple moved over and so did the positive charge. And finally the blue electrons will attack the positive carbon shifting these electrons over one position, resulting in my third and final resonance structure. And so I have my three resonance structures for an ortho addition. Now let's take a look at this trick. I want you to notice that if we're adding the electrophile to that carbon, the other carbon holding that pi bond automatically winds up positive. When that positive charge moves, notice we started here, we skipped this carbon, and we jumped over to the next one. That means the carbocation is going to alternate positions around the ring. For our second resonance structure, we have the bottom left as our carbocation, which is right over here. And finally, for that last resonance structure, notice that we skip this carbon and move the carbocation over to the bottom right position, as we see over here. That is this one. And the trick, or the pattern that I want you to recognize, the carbon that gets the electrophile will have the positive charge resonating directly to the right and left. That means this carbon and this carbon. We then skip the carbons after that, and that is our third resonance structure. Identify your first carbocation, skip carbon, second carbocation, skip a carbon, third carbocation, and those are your three resonance structures. Let's see if we can apply this trick to come up with the meta resonance structures before we actually draw them out. So here's my starting molecule, and we'll add the electrophile to the meta position. This gives me an intermediate with the electrophile meta, the blue and the purple pi bonds haven't moved, but the carbon that lost the pi bond that got nothing in return is positive. Using the trick of skip a carbon, carbocation, skip a carbon, carbocation, skip a carbon, we now see where the carbocation should wind up for the resonance intermediates, but now let's prove it. The purple electrons will attack the positive carbon and shift downwards, giving me the next resonance structure. The blue pi bond hasn't moved, and our positive charge winds up on the carbon between the blue and purple pi bonds. As predicted, that's carbocation structure number two. For the next resonance intermediate, the blue electrons will attack towards the positive charge. And let's see if we can wind up with a carbocation right there. The purple pi bond hasn't moved, 
The blue bond shifted over once, and lo and behold, look where our carbocation winds up. As predicted, we have this position here, top left here, and top right over here. Let's go through this one more time and see what the resonance looks like when we add the electrophile at the para position. The pi bond that is at the para carbon will reach out and grab the electrophile, giving me the first intermediate where the purple and green pi bonds haven't moved. The electrophile is para, and we have a carbocation directly next to that. Based on the position of the carbocation, we expect to skip the top right, have a carbocation at the very top, skip the top left, have a carbocation bottom left, and obviously we already have bottom right. Let's see if we can prove that with resonance structure. The closest pi bond is the green one, and it'll shift over to attack the positive carbon, giving me the next resonance intermediate. The green pi bond is now up and down, the purple pi bond hasn't moved, and the carbocation is now directly beneath that substituted benzene, as predicted. Next, we move the purple pi bond towards the carbocation, and we're expecting to get the bottom left as predicted. Let's see what happens. Purple pi bond shifted over. The green one hasn't moved. The carbocation goes where the pi bond broke away from, and lo and behold, as predicted, that is the location of the positive charge. Now let's see if we can put all of this together by predicting where the positive charges will be based on the location of our added electrophile. If we add the super electrophile to the ortho position, we'll predict the carbocation to be one space away, skip a carbon, one space away, skip a carbon, and at the very top. Now let's see what happens when we add to the meta position one more time. We start with the carbons immediately to the right and left of the electrophile, skip a carbon, place your carbocation, and skip a carbon. And finally, in the para position, we do the same thing. Carbocation to the right and left, skip the next carbon, and another carbocation. I want to point out one more thing. When you learn directing effects, you tend to group ortho and para together and meta separately. Hopefully by looking at the shortcut here, it's easy for you to see Ortho and para have the same exact carbocation intermediates, meaning we have the same resonance structures. That is why activators will direct ortho and para, but meta has the opposite resonance structures, and that's why meta is going to have its own directing effects. Be sure to join me in the next few videos where I show you how to recognize activators and deactivators, and how to make sense of their ortho, para, or meta directing effects. You can find my entire series on electrophilic aromatic substitution, along with my EAS cheat sheet on my website, layofforsci.com slash EAS. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.